when the federal government of Nigeria brought the GSM network to our country as one of the dividends of democracy, little did we know that mischief makers could capitalize on that to bring it down. The purpose of bringing the GSM network in the first place was to make communication a lot easier than we have ever known. It has put food on the tables of a lot of unemployed youths as most of them have been gamefully employed either by selling recharge cards or setting up their own mini business centers. How the story of the killer numbers made the rounds still beat our imagination. It even got to a stage that supposedly men of God believed the story hook, line and sinker as a call made by crime fighters to one man of God in this city got the response, blood of Jesus. Who is fooling who? Or is this another means of spoiling good business as they recently did to one brand before the body responsible for food administration in the country exonerated them? This week on Crime Fighters, we are on the streets of Lagos to feel the pulse of the citizenry on this GSM scare. Is it a myth or a reality? Find out after this break. Crime Fighters, promoting security consciousness. You see, as far as I'm concerned, somehow it is real. Because uh, sometime, maybe two weeks ago, I live in K2. Something happened in uh, my 12th K2 market. When a woman, you know, somebody called her, she just picked the call. You know, blood, the moment she said hello, blood was just coming out from the hair, the mouth. They now rush her down. That was the hand I can see. To me, oh, I believe. Well, that killer number is a ruse. We bury the lie. Well, it may be they have hypertension. So when they hear this, something, they will shock. Well, scientifically, it's not possible. But when you talk of African aspect, it's possible. But the prayer is that the devices of the wicked will not come to pass in our individual lives in Jesus' name. Testify that they called him. They called her, rather. And as they didn't talk, and those people, as they, they were expecting her to talk first. And when she talked, they, was, they heard from the background that, hey, Oti Soro, Oti Soro. Is that not Oti Soro, Oti Soro? That shows in somehow it exists. But the person it has happened to, that died or whatever, I've never heard of it. Uh, from my own perspective, I would say those who are behind it, they are, just, they are trying to like dent the image of the GSM operators. And there's nothing like a killer number. And also, everybody should like just be don't just be free and just take don't they, they, they should not have any problem about killer number or the killer number. You know we are in a wicked world, especially in Nigeria. We can do anything to make money, so it is possible. Well, one of my neighbors received a call. She said when she received the call, when the number rang, she now said hello. Person now said yes. We are the killer twins. Start vomiting blood. Had to cut the phone. In fact, there are two different stories in my area. I live in Ijimu. There is a battery charger too. I wasn't there, but the very day it happened, about two, three minutes. Even somebody brought the number. I think it was 333-666-999. Well, I can't say it is possible. Right? But you know all these witchcrafts, they also, they also develop every day. We have the educator ones among them. Many people have been saying it, but I have never witnessed it. It's not possible. Uh, the Yoruba people that have this GSM before Nigeria, I have not seen somebody have died before after making or receiving call. So I don't see, it's fake, I don't see anything in this. No, because it's not happened to me, I cannot believe that. There is no scientific in, uh, explanation for that, so I don't believe in that. Yes, I've heard about it and read it in the newspapers, but there is no satisfactory explanation. Well, uh, the police should catch the people who are spreading the rumors. They should stem out the rumors and half their job is done. Why do you have to believe fake things like that? Is it possible yourself? There is no way somebody can phone you from somewhere. And some the person is poisoning you directly there. Minus that, there's nothing like that. You believe in practical things. Like, I'm here now. Somebody is somewhere uh, calling my name. What will happen to me? Nothing. But if I'm here, and you are with me, and my beer is there, 
and you put something there, and I take it. Come on, somebody will die. So why do you need to deceive ourselves? I really believe in it, because in our belief in Islam, we believe that there's jinn. Okay. It's called uh, Alijanu. Yes, I believe in it. I, I saw one, one operation with one of my friends. They showed me the, the, all the incidents happened when this thing happened. All the, all the, all the injuries in, in his faces. So, uh, we know that with prayer, we can, every, everything can, we can, we can, we can, we can succeed everything with prayer. Um, uh, because of what we have been, what, I mean, the experience that we have been seeing, so there are some things people cannot do. I heard of it, but I never, I never seen it. I heard of somebody on a, on a bike, so then he received a call and he fell down. So even I, that very day, I saw people rushing to that very area at, at Bariga, one street at Bariga. So I had it, but I never physically see it myself. I do not believe in it because it is just a, I believe it is just a rumor. In our area at Fadi, it happens there. I'm into telecommunications. You see somebody, uh, let me say, the business is growing very well. There are ways people go into sabotage. Scientifically, it has not been proven that it's possible for anybody to call. I've been telling friends, if it is possible, I can tell you my number, let somebody call me, I want to die off. If it's going to happen, it's not going to be in Nigeria. Uh, that number, I don't believe it's right to believe on that number. You know, we just think you can kill. I don't know if you have, you have, proof, have, you have proof it scientifically. I don't think that. Until that is done, I mean, it's also about fake. Yeah, because we, we hear our thoughts. I mean, I believe they are joking. I've not seen anybody. Mm, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't really say anything about that. I, I can't give any reason why they are carrying such a rumor. For, for me, I feel it's kind of, maybe those people, they, they are mentally disordered. It has not happened to anybody. Do I believe in it? I heard it's killing, and even in my church, our pastor announced it. So I think it's real. Mm, I've been hearing about but to me, because I don't have any GSM, that's why. I didn't even have. Uh, I would have known what is going about it. Well, I don't believe it too, because they have never do it that I see it. So that is why I don't believe it, Sha. I don't believe. Because the reason is that, first of all, let's just ask ourselves, where is the network of that even number? Which network is it operating? Where is the masses? So I cannot believe that. Or uh, can you believe that the Babala was the Yabalis, they are just as advanced to decide use, using GSM to kill people? It's not possible. No, it's not possible. Scientifically, scientifically, even when they told me I tried to call the number, nothing like that happened. If you call the number, it won't go through. And it just, it's not thinkable. Scientifically, it's not possible. So people should remove their mind from such things. I think it's just a rumor. I received my calls, quite all right. I received my calls, no problem. Uh, information technology right now has been for long and then has been used in so many countries in West Africa. It has been long in the, uh, Ghana, Cameroon, and most countries in West Africa. And such things have not come in. I think it's a way of jeopardizing the, the system. Because right, I work with the communication company, MTS. You have a switch base where every system, once you call, it clings magnetic. So I don't think any magic can come into that like it does. Something that uh, millions of people are, are, are acknowledging, then who am I not to believe it is true? When I receive any call, if there is any sound on my GSN, what I usually do, I will look at the number because there was a particular number given to me which I recorded in my answer, which I, which I named secret court. So whenever my phone rings and I try to look at it and I see secret court, in fact, I put it down. I don't answer. But when you talk in terms of telephone, me, I have not confirmed it yet. I still don't believe it. In fact, me will say believe, but she mo money won't pay or la mama bambe, but say me will believe because I don't believe. Eh? So I'm born at a year, but I don't believe. Uh, the reason why I believe it is that we are, you know, in Nigeria, 
we are doing juju in Nigeria, and that juju they are using it to make money. It's not possible, impossible. How is possible? It cannot be. Because uh, GM has nothing to do that somebody, it is not a juju or something inside. So there, it is all science. Scientifically, it is impossible, not possible. Fighting crime in another dimension. But well, I don't believe. Because it's here to pass through a network. And I don't believe that number is existing at all. So it's just uh, propagandas. And where is the, these people are operating their own line, you know, let, or they, just let's say, where are they operating their own machine? From which area is it? So I didn't believe there is any killer number at all. So, because before this juju will work, I leave the, he will know your name first thing to me because I'm a Yoruba man. So after the juju know your name, and you will tell him what actually you did for that juju before he can revert to you. That's my own belief. I am not believe me, I believe. Today, I many people to comment here. If you do, I am not even lonely. When I am not even lonely, I am not even lonely. 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 I am not even Maybe there are some people somewhere that want to maybe do something against the GSM. You know, it could be any force from any any or a company or whatever eh, that want to that want to see the downfall of G GSM. You see, and this might believe. I don't believe that as well. Seeing is believing. Because in, in, in lab we have to experiment things. When it goes through an experiment, we derive this hypothesis and become, before it becomes a theory. I'm not exactly sure, but I've heard a lot of stories about them from reliable people, so maybe yes, but I can't say it definitely. Oh, people I trust, people, my mother for instance, people that wouldn't lie to me. I've said they've heard about it, friends, very close friends, so yeah. No, she said she didn't see, but she saw the, she saw the crowd, pardon me for telling you a story, she saw the crowd where the um, incident was supposed to have happened, and she asked, they told her, about the killer numbers concerning the GSM. Okay, actually, I hear about the the killer numbers that you know there are some numbers. If you dial it, when you receive the call, you know many people die. But to me, I've never witnessed you know witnessed such thing. It has never happened in my present. Mm. My brother, you know, we are in wicked, especially we black, you know, we, 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 we are, you know, I don't know how to put it in short, my brother. My brother, I don't know, you know, we black man, we, we black, we don't have anything, we don't like any good thing, you understand me? Uh, we black always like evil things, you understand me? Their own power, they use it for evil. Actually, I heard about it clear, but to me, it's just a fake. I don't think it's real. People are just trying to kill themselves or frustrate their followers. It's not real. No, I don't believe in killer number because this, there's no way this number has affected my sales. And moreover, I've heard that he kills a lot of people, but 